Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to share with you another business idea, another coffee flavor using instant coffee. I have shown you many different flavors and today it is going to be another special recipe. The three main ingredients that we are going to use in today's recipe are coffee, instant coffee. I'm using a regular Nescafe red cup here. Also because it's going to be a mocha mint, it has chocolate. So I'm going to use unsweetened dark chocolate powder. And of course, because it's mint, I'm using mint. You can use any brand that you have available to you. And for today's video tutorial, I am going to make 300 ml bottles or roughly about 10 ounces of instant Nescafe mocha mint. This bottle is about 10 ounces or 300 ml, but don't forget that it does not include ice. So it is all the goodness of your mocha mint. What can you do with bottled coffee? You can start a business with it from home. You can make this and sell it in your neighborhood or sell it in offices around the area. Also, you can start a catering business. So you can make these drinks and if you already have a catering business, you can add this to your catering package. Another thing that you can use a bottled mocha mint is for you to make this in a batch, put this in the refrigerator, and anytime you have a craving for this, you can just take it out and pour it in a glass of ice or simply drink from the bottle. As simple as that. Now, what is the shelf life for this bottle drinks? Because we are going to use instant coffee and also no fresh milk will be added to this drink, this can actually last up to about five to seven days refrigerated. Now, I normally say about three to five days, but I have actually tried it and it lasted about seven days and it's still perfect. But regardless of how long you kept it, it must be refrigerated. Let's take a look at our ingredients. For the dry ingredients, we are going to use instant coffee. I am using Nescafe Red Cup here. You can use whatever is available to you. For the chocolate, I'm using a dark chocolate unsweetened and I'm using my own blend here. If you use Milo or Ovaltine, that will be sweetened and with the creamer as well. So you might have to adjust the proportion. For the creamer, I am using the Perfect Coffee Mate, which is the perfect mate for coffee and white sugar. Let's look at our wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, we are going to use condensed milk. Here I have put 300 ml of condensed milk and match it with 300 ml of evaporated milk. I'm using Carnation. You may use any brand that you have available or whichever suits your budget the most. For the mint, I'm going to use a local brand which is Long Beach Mint. You can use any other brand as well. So let's get started by boiling our water. We have here three liters of water and I'm going to bring it to a boil. Now make sure you boil your water up to the boiling point. Do not pour your dry ingredients until the water actually boils. Add all your dry ingredients, your coffee, your creamer, sugar and the chocolate and make sure they are fully dissolved. Once all the dry ingredients are dissolved, you can turn off the heat. Then add your wet ingredients. Evaporated milk, condensed milk, and of course, the star of this drink, which is mint. Make sure they're all well combined and then let it cool down before you start bottling it. Now our mocha mint has already cooled down and we are ready to bottle it. But before that, I am going to give it a try. Usually you should try it whilst the mixture is still hot so that if you need to put a little bit more sugar or more coffee, you can do it whilst the mixture is still hot. But this time I'm going to, I know exactly how it will taste, but I will try it again just to be sure that I've got the recipe right. When you try this at home, you will know exactly what the taste will be. Mm. Strong coffee with the strong chocolate taste and also, of course, the smell of the mint and the taste of the mint. Now, the taste of your resulting mixture will also depend on the mint that you use and also, of course, the chocolate that you use. So make sure you use dark chocolate unsweetened. 
if you use sweets and chocolate like Milo or Ovaltine, you might have to put a little bit more. So for the bottles, you can stick your label there to make it your own, or you can just buy ready-made stickers off the shelf or online. This, I have a simple sticker saying, thank you for supporting my small business. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to start pouring my drink into the bottles and we'll see how much is the yield for 300 ml bottles. I'm going to show you two ways. One is just the regular plain mocha mint. And for the other bottle, I am going to put, I've got here some plain cognac pearls. I'm going to just add one scoop. What goes well with coffee would be grass jelly or cognac pearls or even your homemade coffee jelly if you have any. Use a stick to make sure they all get into your bottle. So this is if you have any plans to put any sinkers at all. Now if you will put tapioca pearls, you must put the tapioca pearls just before you serve your drinks. You cannot let it soak there overnight. So once again, we're going to pour our coffee in there. That's beautiful color. So we have two different types of bottled mocha mint here. One is with the cognac pearls and I'm going to close this one. Lock it in. Okay. And this one is without the cognac pearls. So once again, you can close it. And now allow me to pour the rest of my mixture in my other bottles. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm keeping this one open because I'm going to have this in a bit. Okay, so thirteen bottles all together, and this one includes the one with some of the cognac pearls. So some of the bottles have cognac pearls. That means if you don't have any stinkers at all, this might be only about twelve bottles yield. So when you calculate for your costing, it will be about twelve bottles without any sinkers and with sinkers you can probably stretch it up to about 15 bottles there you go 13 bottles of delicious mocha mint now you look at the color it is very dark because i use dark chocolate so your color might be lighter than this if you use chocolate that is not as dark as what i have here but i'd like to also try this with a glass full of ice and because i love having mine with a bit of sinkers so i'm going to put some cognac pearls Grass jelly is perfect with this, but I don't have it at the moment. So I'm putting some cognac pearls on top there. And then I'm going to pour my delicious iced mocha mint. This is a 16 ounce cup and this is a 300 ml bottle. Look at what you can make. You can actually make two cups of 16 ounces from one 300 ml bottle. And this is very, very concentrated. Although this drink is made ready to drink, that means you can drink it straight from the bottle, you can also pour it in a cup of ice. And when you do that, the sweetness might not be enough. You might have to add a little bit of sugar syrup. But let me try it this way. It looks absolutely delicious. Very dark color, very minty, the smell of coffee and the strong chocolate. I am really happy with this. I'm sure you will be too when you try it. Mmm, delicious. For me, the sweetness is just right. So one 300 ml bottle can make two cups of 16 ounces with a glass full of ice. There you go. So you can make these bottles, keep them refrigerated and grab them and go if you have to take them to your work or even just take it to school. You can make it for your friends and family and give them away or you can add this for your catering business if you don't have a catering business yet you can start one using instant coffee in bottles and this time mocha mint don't forget to click the subscribe button below like comment and share the love if you have any questions at all about this recipe do let me know in the meantime stay safe thank you for watching ciao for now